Good evening and welcome to ATV News. My name is Shalama Lawson. On tonight's bulletin, Chipinga refugees face poor living conditions. The Congolese, renowned for popularizing rumba music in Zimbabwe, are doing it again. Success for Zimbabwean boxers. And journalists face humiliation in a friendly soccer match with refugees. Women and children are among 5,000 refugees affected by poor living conditions at Tongogara refugee camp in Chipinge. Dwindling donor support has also worsened the situation. Jeffrey Moyo reports. Women holed up at Tongogara refugee camp in Chipinge are facing numerous problems that include poor living conditions, poverty and lack of access to relief projects. Refugees die and are here sana. Everybody, since the refugees at everybody, Leo. And despite the number of problems they face, the refugees at Tongogara joined the rest of the world to commemorate the World Refugees Day in style. The camp accommodates over 5,000 refugees from war-torn countries such as Somalia and the Democratic Republic of Congo. For the country receiving so many refugees, well, 5,000 is a small num number, but again, uh, not so small. If they have chosen Zimbabwe as a destination, it means that uh, they find it better here than where they are from. Living conditions are deplorable, making women and children vulnerable to diseases. Uh, we don't have the money here in camp to Tongogara, but, uh, but we, we, we are happy. Food supplies from relief agencies are erratic, and many of them have no blankets to keep themselves warm this winter. Leo, refugee day, Leo, nilifurai sana, tulipoke ma blankets, na shereko mzuri, michezo ya mzuri. The food which we used to get is not enough for the refugees. They, we have been give, we are, they used to give us maybe 10 kg of meals, 2 kg of rice, 2 kg of beans, and the smallest quantity of oil. Donor aid is dwindling for relief projects, and idleness at the camp has impacted negatively on the morale of mothers. Other refugees say education is critical for children at the camp to escape from the jaws of poverty. Maybe a uh, one, maybe uh, one refugee without education or one child without education is too many. And one refugee without help is too, too, too many. Reporting for ATV, I'm Jeffrey Moyo in Chipinge, Zimbabwe. A group of Congolese refugees at Tongogara camp is fusing rumba with the sound of gospel to create a unique type of music. Jairo Saunyama gives us the report. Which is made up of members from the Pentecostal church at the camp is fusing rumba with gospel music to create a unique sound. I formed the group in 2010 when I first arrived in the camp. Uh, we were something like four people but we started and we encourage many young boys who came and join us so that we may bring the gospel forward. Members of the band said the idea behind the establishment of the trumpet choir was to spread the gospel through music. We do speak of Jesus Christ because we bring souls to repent and to know that Jesus is the Lord as we always sing about him we do the gospel sometimes we worship but like this time it was worship the group which is made up of congolese nationals said it is ready to embrace other talented people within the camp 
some other nationality they are also there you know when we are in a church we don't have to discriminate oh we have become one family in jesus however members complain that they could not spread their music to other parts of the country as they are confined to the camp we don't have many people who know us and people who can help we just need help from people who can help us to get to the studio and shoot out our songs we appreciate uh, people who can help us to get in studio to sing outside. That we, we look of people who can help us. Reporting for ATV in Jipinge, Zimbabwe. Zimbabwean boxers clinched silver and bronze medals in an African boxing tournament which was held in Botswana recently. Nine countries participated in the two-week competition. Crispin Tavura gives us the story. Two Zimbabwean boxers won bronze and silver medals in the African Championship boxing tournament held in Botswana recently. In an interview with ATV, the Zimbabwe Boxing Association chairperson Petros Masiambumbi, who travelled with the team, spoke about their performance. We are very happy that we managed to have uh, a silver medal from a female boxer, uh, Fortunate Shizio, and we also managed to have a bronze medal from Stephen uh, Masiambumbi in the middleweight, and also all other boxers who could not make it in the medal stages, they were also rated uh, within the African uh, continent. The boxers were equally ecstatic about their performance during the two-week tournament which was attended by nine countries. It was a great opportunity for us to go and participate in the games and I think uh, my father who is my coach, Mr. Petros Masiambumbi, uh, is the one who encouraged me to keep on trying and I, I thank God that I have made it so that I can bring a, a medal in, in Zimbabwe and also in Africa. I didn't perform that well because of short time that we were given. So problem young I was I was uh, about to reduce uh, seven kgs in two days. So it was so challenging. So yeah, I tried my best. Then that's why I have this certificate. I played well. However, Masiambumbi complained about lack of support from government in the corporate world which he said was wearing the team down. They can't do anything on their own. We need the government to come in and support. We need the corporate world to come in and support. We also need even individuals to come in and support. We are not far away from other countries, from those uh, we have uh, facilities and we have resources. You can see, I mean, judging the performance that we displayed in the Africa Championship, if given an opportunity and resources, definitely there is nothing that can actually stop us to be uh, one of the medals in the Olympic Games. He urged boxers to up their game in the forthcoming Zone 6 tournament in Zambia. As from now, uh, we are looking ahead uh, on the tournament like the Zimbabwe National Youth Games. The Zimbabwe National Youth Games is also a platform where we prepare our teams, particularly this year where we are going to send a team that will represent us at the Zone 6 Games that will be held in Zambia, uh, that is in December. I'm Chris Pentabra, reporting for ATV in Ulawayo, Zimbabwe. During the celebrations of the recent World Refugees Day, journalists from the Manikaland province played a friendly soccer game with local refugees, ending in humiliation. Jeffrey Moyo reports. A soccer team comprising of journalists was over the weekend beaten by six goals to nil in a friendly match played against refugees of Tongogara camp in Chipinge. The Eastern scribes a team comprising of journalists from Manikalin province was humiliated by the new generation during a tour of the camp. The defeated scribe said the match was a demonstration of the country's warmth towards people of other nationalities. Ntambu wata tamba wiyo warati za kuti isu takabata na nyo kune zimwenyika. Zimbabwe ya isa aruri isu kunyange sweduta itwa outclassed, outplayed in all technicals but isu shaita kutati lati za kuti isu and at an opportune time when we are celebrating the World Refugee Day. 
Tavaka ukama ni zime nyika zaka sana sana so mnumu sababu Bozi nyika zikure asi chanda wana pavari haa ah, waka batana Waka batana fisinga yeti Others said the match held to cement relations between locals and foreigners residing in the country Zinu zinu fadza cha hizo kutamba kutaita na avu ni wamwe wedu wano vangu nyika zaka siana siana Kunyangu zazo tisina kuwina asi Tino tarisi na kutipambere hapo tishanga tisi zodin tishigadiri sa Midfield, you don't think it's one song that's the Tambas are going It's not really about who, who won, but it's about who is, uh, it's about the whole issue of bonding with uh, our fellow colleagues through the social soccer game and learning from each other. And that is what we have come to do here at Songo Gara. Eastern Scribe supporters blamed their defeat on the team's weak defense. Inda wana pa defense, paru kudakuti, panyato kupolish out, panyato kuta strong. Timu edu gaya gaya, ino dauti improve pa defense edu, nemiti edu. Kuti, chuone kuti wano kuna kukuhuwe sama skos. Timu edu right, apana chakaipa. More practice, those kudi wapa team. The new generation coach was ecstatic about his team's victory over the journalists. Uh, this is the best team. I know, my team is ingine ziku wakini team yetu yuko... Parmi my keep my keep kabambi ndani ya timu ndani ya ya ya, ya inchi one of the new generation players attributed their success to regular training we know how to play football nicely because we used to train every day that is our our, our, our only thing because many people many people they think why we are playing football nicely we know how to do a pass we know how to do everything because of our training reporting for ATV I'm Jeffrey Moyo in Chipinge, Zimbabwe. Thank you for joining us. Good night.